Welcome. This is always one of my favorite events. I'm Mike Vieira. I'm the Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Bristol. And uh, first of all, I, I bring some regrets that uh, Dr. Mary Zahm is out of town and will not be joining us today. I know some people have been asking, but she's here with us in, in spirit, and, and we know how much work she's done over the years. So, so let's give her a round of applause anyway, just because she deserves it. Okay? And uh, Dr. Rebecca Clock is also out of town and unavailable today, so you get me instead. That's, that's, that's not so bad. Come on, you know. Um, the civic engagement program at, at Bristol Community College um, is, is really, I think, one of the, um, kind of the jewels in the crown, as they say, because it, it really embodies that whole idea of the college as part of the community. And not to steal the president's thunder, but I, maybe I will. Um, when you think about especially service learning, and you think about that hyphen that he talks about all the time, connecting service and learning, um, it really, I think, reinforces that academic connection which brings us all here. So its heart is in the classroom, but its soul is in the community, and it really brings together those two very, very important parts of our mission. So I'm, I'm personally very proud of the work that, that um, Mary and Jen and Nicole and Rebecca and all of you have done in terms of um, bringing our mission to life, keeping that fire going in the community. So um, I thank you for all, for all the work that you do for, for the community. So give yourself a round of applause. For I don't want to keep you from your awards and, and from uh, getting you up here on the stage because that's why we're here today. But we have a few uh, very special guests to bring some greetings from the college. And the first is uh, a dear friend of mine, my boss, and uh, as, as everyone calls the cheerleader for the college, she is a, um, a dynamic and amazing woman who, who I think really is uh, going to give you a little charge this morning. So a nice welcome for Sarah Garrett. Good morning. It is so wonderful to have all of you here. And as um, Dr. Vieira said, um, Dr. Zom is here with us all the time because she has given so much of her heart and soul, um, so much of her heart and soul to the college. And volunteerism is everything. It, if one person gives of him or herself to the community, it makes a difference. I always um, remember my father um, saying to me as a child that it only takes one. It only takes one. Don't wait for someone else to do something. Do it yourself. And he would go out in the community and work hard. He would tutor children. And I love that about my dad, you know. And he started with my brother who had a terrible speech impediment. And he would sit with him at night and he would tutor him. And my brother is now a judge. And I... And my brother has never forgotten how my father would work with him. And, and kids would tease my brother. And uh, my brother, you know, I'm so proud of him because, but it took that love that my father had staying at home and working with him. But he would take it outside of the home. And after working long hours, and he worked two jobs, he would also go and work with other children. And I, I always thought, this is what it's about, giving back to the community. And this program and what you have done means so much because it helps others. And when you impact the lives of others, they then take your heart to other people. So thank you so much because it does make a difference in lives. And as President Spraga 
and Bristol Community College always sends the message, we are about changing lives, learner by learner. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and enjoy. Thanks, Sarah. I guess if Sarah's the cheerleader, then the president must be the, uh, the drum major, I guess, that guy in the front. You know, so. And uh, that is probably, probably a good way to, uh, to think about his role. I, I think when, when Jack came to the college, um, he really did bring um, that out in front leadership spirit and uh, lead by example uh, model of, of uh, educational administration. And I think in terms of community service, in terms of civic engagement, made this a priority of the college. And I think unless that happens, unless at the very top of the, uh, the very you know, top echelon of, of a college or a community's um, leadership, if that charge is not um, issued you know, to go forth, if that support is not given, then I think really um, no project will, will succeed. So, so I do want to thank the President on, on, on behalf of uh, the college and the grateful community for his leadership in that and invite him up to say a few words. Thank you, Mike, for that wonderful introduction, boy. Um, and uh, Sarah, thank you, as always, for your great comments. Uh, it is very important about service learning, engagement. You know, the formula starts uh, fairly uh, easily, uh, and I think uh, even someone challenged in math the way I am, uh, you can kind of follow the logic of it, and that is that um, we're here to serve the community and provide education. One of the instrumental ways uh, to enhance that education and enrich the education is, as Michael said, engagement, student engagement. Not just student, but the entire college community, but for today, I will be talking about student engagement. So the next step after, uh, once you accept that premise, uh, that uh, student engagement is very important, you move to holistic education, uh, uh, the uh, value uh, that our students uh, uh, accumulate and, and uh, benefit from outside of the classroom as well as inside of the classroom, uh, and then move on uh, from that to volunteerism and service learning. And it becomes a natural progression uh, and the service learning becomes a natural part of a, any class, any class. And uh, you, the easiest way to look at it, simplified, I, I admit, but that you have theory in the classroom and practice in the community and uh, putting it into practice. Uh, and uh, so I know uh, that uh, uh, Professor Zahm unfortunately couldn't be with us, but Mary is very active in trying to uh, move service learning to become a graduation requirement. That's how important we think. We don't take these things lightly when we make graduation requirements because another, uh, people, some people look at it as another burden on the student and uh, uh, something else that we have to uh, keep track of at the college. But if you go back, back through that logical progression, uh, then you see the value of it and it's worth the while. That's why we're in business. Uh, so, uh, Michael always, uh, Michael mentioned the hyphen between service and learning. I'm not sure if that's grammatically correct anymore, uh, but I certainly used to do it all the time. I had the f good fortune years ago at CCRI when I worked there to start, uh, help start the service learning program. And we see the benefits that come, and we did it in Maryland. Uh, Sarah and I were together in Maryland and worked on service learning. So it's a natural outflow of your educational experience here at Bristol. It's a natural outflow of our connection to the community because you're going to meet wonderful community people who are here this morning. Uh, and if they're not here this morning, they're participating in this program. And so the natural confluence of all of these forces come together uh, for what? For the benefit of the students. And that's what makes it so great. Uh, and uh, I, you know, that's enough theory for one day. Let's get on with the awards. Uh, uh, and there's more food if you'd help yourself. And I didn't want to leave uh, the podium without thanking Chef Caresimo and Chef Horman <clears throat> and all our wonderful culinary arts students. Take a bow. <laughs>
Aren't they wonderful? And oh, there's Chef Gloria Cabral right in front of us. Uh, uh, they always do a terrific uh, job uh, at, these, at these great events. And this is the season for events like this, right? So I'm going to turn it back to Michael. And uh, we're going to get on with the awards. And I want to uh, congratulate uh, collectively, and I'll try to shake your hands individually, these students who participated. And I'm sure uh, that you can testify to the, uh, to the value of, uh, of this great program. And I've already talked to some community people who testify the same way. So it's, it's just a great fit. Thank you. I grew up in the city. I always get a little nervous when the people are walking behind me, you know. So, <laughs> I don't really like the windows either, to be honest, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to start off the, uh, the recognition part of the program with um, some special awards. And the first is to the ever effervescent Elizabeth McCarthy. This is the Vice President of Resource Development here, and um, her work with the foundation, the BCC Foundation, um, has been instrumental in, in helping fund events like this. So, so if you like the food, say thank you. <laughs> um, I'd like to recognize some faculty for exceptional work this year. Adrian Barasa, Instructor of Psychology. She's not here, but Lisa Wright, who works with um, medical assisting. Um, we'll recognize a community partner, um, Gifts to Give. I don't think anyone is here from Gifts to Give today, but give them a round of applause. If you don't know Gifts to Give, they have um, a warehouse in New Bedford and collect um, clothing and toys and, and all kinds of things and involve community groups in. To, uh, to sort those and make them available to members of the community. Um, take some time to recognize the Civic Engagement Program staff who have absolutely um, done an amazing job this year. I, I really have to say that. Um, as always, there, there are challenges in, in lives and, and sometimes that, that um, adds some speed bumps, shall we say, in the, uh, in the smooth path of uh, academic programs, but, but these folks really rallied this year to, um, to keep the program afloat and to work through some technical glitch, all kinds of glitches, technical glitches, personal things, it was great. Um, Nicole Collins, Associate Community <laughs> Service Coordinator. And then our service uh, learning coordinators and AmeriCorps leaders in service, Rachel Collins. And Tammy Durrigan. And, okay. and we're going to recognize one, one additional person um, who is a community service learner, but also the Newman Civic Fellows Award recipient. And she'll be recognized formally um, next week at the awards program, but we'd like to have her stand and get a round of applause. Melissa Massey. among yourselves. No. <laughs> um, we always like to have someone come up from the program to, uh, to say a few words about uh, service learning, civic engagement, and the impact um, it's had on, uh, on the person and on, on the community. 
and I was really happy to, to see the, um, the name this year is uh, Michael Lasco, and he's a, um, it's, I, I, I met him in Attleboro, I, I don't know, at a, an event, one of the, um, I think it was a, a family night or an open house or some, some event in, in Attleboro, and, um, and I've got to say, I meet, I meet a lot of people, but I was very impressed with Michael. I think he, um, he really has uh, brought to the Attleboro campus and to the college itself um, a real richness in terms of um, the work that he's done for the college and for the community. Um, and one of the things that he did was start a STEM scholarship for Attleboro High School. And um, we'd like Michael to come up and just say a few words. Mike. How's everybody doing today? Come on. How's everybody doing today? All right. So uh, before I discuss my project, uh, there are a few people I'd like to thank. Uh, obviously, Professor Zahm, who isn't here today. Uh, Professor Zahm has just been uh, an amazing inspiration to me. I've had her for a couple of courses now, and it's really been a privilege to have her as a professor. Um, Catherine Honey, who's uh, my community partner, uh, president of the uh, museum at the mill in Atterboro. I've had the honor of being able to work with her to promote STEM education uh, twice now. And uh, Catherine does tremendous work for the uh, Atterboro community and the state promoting STEM education. And this project uh, certainly wouldn't have been what it is if, uh, if it wasn't for your guidance. And uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Um, also, Joe Yassian, Director of Campus Services in Atterboro. He's not here today, but Joe is just uh, an amazing individual at BCC and uh, truly uh, represents uh, the best of what BCC has to offer its students. Uh, Vice President McCarthy, who also played a uh, pivotal role in getting this scholarship set up, and it was definitely, uh, you know, your help was instrumental as well. So, and of course, the Atterboro uh, STEM scholarship team that you know, worked together and got the, the scholarship off the ground and up and running. The Atterboro STEM Education Scholarship was created to address uh, several needs in the Atterboro community. First, the need to promote STEM education. The jobs of the 21st century are high-tech jobs that will require skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, the advancement of STEM education is vital not only to individual communities, but to our nation as a whole. Second, the need to attract jobs to those communities, in this case, the city of Atterboro, by increasing the number of STEM college graduates and helping Atterboro demonstrate it is committed to reinventing itself to be an attractive place for these jobs to exist. And third, to promote community leadership in others. One of the criteria that was set forth for the recipients of the scholarship was demonstrating leadership in school and community. So at the beginning of this project, I had concerns because I thought I bit off a little bit more than I could chew because I uh, started, you know, reaching out to financial institutions to find out about setting up a scholarship and you know everything that was involved and it was it was a nightmare to be honest with you so uh, I reached out to uh, Vice President McCarthy and she you know explained to me how easy it was through the BCC foundation to set up such a, a fund and uh, you know again I thank you for uh, for your help it was really just amazing um, utilizing the BCC foundation actually created two more benefits to this project increasing enrollment at BCC and promoting the Atterboro BCC campus. So I assembled a team of volunteers who possessed uh, specific skill sets that would be crucial to uh, this project's success. And uh, as a result of tremendous dedication and group effort, we raised uh, $1,300 in no time at all. And uh, with nearly a year left to raise funds before the uh, scholarship gets paid out, uh, we're definitely going to surpass our goal of $2,000. And uh, that award would be split between a male and female uh, recipient, graduates of uh, Atterboro High School who enroll at BCC. Uh, also, on 24th, next Thursday, my team will be presenting our work to the Southeastern Massachusetts STEM Network Expo, and uh, the uh, Secretary of Education will be there as well. So this has certainly been one of the most rewarding experiences I've had at BCC, and uh, it goes without saying that Giving your time to help others is certainly a, a worthy task, and I congratulate all of you on, on the work that you've done this semester. But there was really one other aspect that made this project uh, very memorable, and it was that this project really took everything that I learned at BCC and, and kind of tied it together. 
you know, whether it was, uh, you know, management or marketing or community leadership or even, even accounting came into play somehow. Um, you know, it really tied things together and I really used something that I learned from nearly every course that I've taken here. So I'll close with this. Uh, and I'll congratulate again all of you on your successful projects and commend you all on your service to the community. And uh, I'll close with this last thought that I uh, remind you all that we are the leaders that we have been waiting for. Thank you all very much. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can just uh, <laughs> hand, it, hand it to Mike or Liz on your way out. And, you know, oh, I'm sure I know there's also a website and yep, Facebook, Facebook, right? Page, yep. Facebook page. So open those pocketbooks and things. Come on. Um, yeah, Mike, that, that was a, that's a great story, and, I, and he didn't say that, that he did this while working way too many hours and having a family with a three-year-old yeah. running around. So um, that's, you know, as I look around the room, it's really funny because I, I, I know so many of you, um, past and present lives, which is sort of funny, but um, almost everyone here, I, 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 I will say everyone here, has, has a similar story. Of, um, of amazing work. So this is really quite, quite the group that we've assembled today. Um, so th again, thank you. And I'm going to turn this over now for a little while to Jen Boulay. Now, before you let it, oh, go ahead. <laughs> and Jen Boulay has a pretty good story herself. Did some amazing work at BCC and went to um, it's a little, little school called Brown in Providence that, you know, as, as Jack would say, is the uh, BCC of Rhode Island, I guess, right? No. So, <laughs> but, um, and we'll be graduating with her master's degree on the 27th. The 27th so. Wow. And in her spare time, she's done... Um, she served as coordinator for this program, working closely with Mary Zahm and Nicole and, and the rest of the team to, uh, to make all this happen. So, Jen, the mic is yours. Good morning, everyone. Um, Dr. Zahm advised me to wear my highest heels because she said in the past she couldn't see me beyond the podium. So, big heels for today. Um, so for the next section of awards, um, we're going to start with the President's Volunteer Service Award. And that's something that's on behalf of President Barack Obama. And um, the, the recipients are part of the BCC community. They can be faculty members, staff members, um, they can be students, and they have to have completed a minimum of 100 hours of community service over the last calendar year. And the way that our program runs, it runs from February to February of each year. So this service would have been performed from February 2011 through February 2012 of this year. Um, so with regard to that, we have three different categories for awards. We have a bronze award, and um, that that ranges between 100 and 174 hours of service, or it can range for, um, from 100 to 249 hours of service, depending on the age group. And then the next award goes to um, silver award recipients, and that ranges from 175 hours of service, as high as 499 hours of service. And then finally, the gold award, which ranges from 250 hours of service or 500 hours of service, depending on um, the age group category for those items. And we also have the, the actual final award is the blue award, and that's for a cumulative um, total hours of service over 4,000 hours over the past year. So we'll start with the faculty awards. And we have six faculty members that we're going to recognize for this, six faculty and staff members. The total hour, number of hours of service for this past year is 11,475 hours from these six members. So first we'd like to recognize Gloria Cabral. <laughs> Gloria is an instructor in baking and pastry arts and she is a blue recipient with over 4,000 hours of service. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> All right. Our photographer may want to pass off the camera for a moment. <laughs> Our next recipient is the lovely Sally Cameron. She is the Vice President of College Communications. She is a silver um, award recipient, and she has completed 255 hours of service this past year. Oh. <laughs> well, wait, we have... Oh. <laughs> we'll pause for a moment. Are we good? Okay. <laughs> Our next recipient is Dan Gilbarg. He is a professor in sociology at Bristol Community College, and he will be receiving a gold award for 1,560 hours of service. Oh, and apparently he will be retiring this year too. So, um, and unfortunately he couldn't meet with us today. Our next recipient is Richard Horton, and he is an instructor of computer-aided drafting. He is a recipient of the Blue Award for over 4,000 hours of service. I don't believe he's here today, but um, we can take a moment to recognize him. Thank you. Our next recipient is Michael Myers. He is an instructor in engineering, and he will be receiving the Bronze Award for 100 hours of service. Unfortunately, Michael couldn't meet with us today either. Um, and then the last award recipient, who I don't believe she's here today, but is Marlene Pollock. She is a professor in history, and she will be receiving the gold award for 1,560 hours of service. Next, we can, we'll, we'll recognize our student award recipients. Um, as I call your names, you can just stand. You will actually receive your awards at the student awards night but we will recognize each of these students individually. Um, our first recipient is actually on the stage. <laughs> uh, we have um, 13 student award recipients, and the total hours of service are 8,127 hours of service from our students. And our first recipient is Nicole Collins, and she will be receiving the gold award for 320 hours of service. She has participated in the um, ambassador program at Bristol Community College. She's been involved in the Oxfam Hunger Banquet, um, BOLD's early literacy and mentoring programs, among many, many other things. So let's uh, take a moment to recognize Nicole. Our next recipient is Rachel Collins. Rachel, if you could just stand for a moment. She will be receiving the Gold Award for 506 hours of service. She's volunteered as an independent living coordinator for um, Southeast Center for Independent Living Incorporated. <laughs> the next student to be recognized is Tammy Durrigan, and she will be receiving a Gold Award for 600 and 678 hours of service over the past year. She has been involved with the Student Ambassador Program at BCC, helping out with orientations, campus tours. She's also been a volunteer student, um, a volunteer tutor. She's also assisted with student placements through the Civic Engagement Program. And she helped with the Civic Engagement Leadership Workshop in 2011. And she helped with a student panel for BCC's 2011 Professional Day. So thank you, Tammy. The next recipient is Joanne Field. Joanne will be receiving a gold award for 502 hours of service. Um, she has been involved with many things from um, being a, uh, um, volunteering at the her church's Sunday school, a soup kitchen. She has assisted with orientations, campus tours at BCC. She's assisted with BCC's Martin Luther King breakfast. Um, she's also been involved in a few projects in New Bedford, such as New Bedford's Working Waterfront and the Greater New Bedford Summerfest. So let's take a moment to um, recognize Joanne. <laughs> Our next recipient is Andrea Geds. 
Um, she will be receiving a bronze award for 124 hours of service. She has been involved with the Kids College Summer Program and the Kids College Lego Institute. So congratulations. Our next recipient is David Henry. He will be receiving a bronze award for completing 129 hours of service. Um, great, he's here. Um, he was involved with the, is it the SAGE and ROV, is that correct? Okay, the SAGE and ROV outreach. He's been involved with the Working Waterfront Festival in New Bedford, the second annual BCC cardboard and duct tape um, canoe race, which I understand is, is quite the adventure here. <laughs> Um, and he's also been involved in Connected to College Open House, so congratulations. Our next recipient is Andrew Kelly. He um, has completed 292 hours of service, so he will be receiving the Gold Award. He is a member of the Elmhurst Planning Committee, the Portsmouth Charter Review Committee. He is a member of the BCC Student Senate. In his spare time, he's also um, involved with the Portsmouth community. So, congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Elise Kennedy. And I know Elise is here, I've seen her. <laughs> Do you mind standing for a moment? Elise will be receiving the Gold Award for completing 545 hours of service. She has um, assisted with a voting and ballot marking um, program over at nursing homes in Somerset. She has been involved in the intensive outreach outpatient program. She's been involved with St. Patrick's Church in various types of activities. And um, she's also a student ambassador. So congratulations, Elise. <laughs> Our next recipient is Darren Lacombs. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? OK. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I butcher your name. If, if I say it wrong, you just let me know. <laughs> He will be receiving a silver award for completing 252 hours of service. Um, he has been a, an SI, a supplementary instructor for one of the courses here at BCC. So congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Melissa Massey. And Melissa will be receiving the prestigious Blue Award for 4,000 plus hours of service. And as you can imagine, the list of activities she's been involved with, um, it's very extensive. So I'll just name a few of the items that she's done. She's been involved with after school programs, voter registration, Project Cinderella, and even the Peace Poll Project here at BCC. So as you're leaving and um, if you walk by the, reflect the, the reflecting ponds, um, you'll see the Peace Poll. She was actually involved in painting that and designing it. So congratulations, Melissa. The next recipient is actually Melissa's son, Thomas Massey. Thomas is a new student over at BCC, and actually before he started here, he was involved in a summer program um, volunteering with us. He will be receiving a bronze award for completing 100 hours of service. He has been involved in um, Be Enriched summer program, after school programs, and Project Cinderella. So <laughs> congratulations. Oh, Melissa will be. <laughs> Our next recipient is Venetius, is that correct? Venetius Pimentel? Is Venetius here? Venetius, thank you. <laughs> and Venetius is um, going to receive the gold award for completing 506 hours, 560, excuse me, hours of service. And he has been involved with um, being a tutor for English as a second language at Bristol Community College. So congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Scott Peters, and Scott's here, I saw him earlier. Scott will be receiving the Bronze Award for completing 119 hours of service. He has been involved in the SAGE eye test ROV, is, is that correct? Okay, I, I don't know about a lot of these acronyms, so. Um, he's also been involved in the Working Waterfront Festival and BCC Connected to College, and his list was also quite more extensive than this, but these are just a few highlights of what he's done over the past year, so. Congratulations, Scott. So for the entire um, Presence Volunteer Service Award program, including both the faculty, staff, and um, student award recipients, 
we were looking at a total of 19,602 hours of service this past year. So fantastic work, everyone. Now, I just wanted to take a few moments to recognize a, another group of fine students here. Um, they have actually had a celebratory um, event last year in the summer, so I'm just going to ask each of these members to stand to be recognized. And <clears throat> this group of students, there were 11 students involved in this program, in total completed 3,632 hours of service over the summer last year. And these are some fine friends of mine. Um, in 2011, we were awarded a Commonwealth Corps grant from, um, it was the Massachusetts Service Alliance, and this was for the Be Enriched Summer Program. And the students that were involved with this program volunteered at Morton Middle School and worked with um, at -risk, academically at-risk students through their summer school program and hosted those students to come here on what we called Fun Fridays, where our students ended up coming up with different concepts um, for activities according to different themes. Some of the themes included Fall River history, others were like en engineering and robotics, so I mean it was a wide range of activities. Um, so I'm just going to call off the names, if you could just stand for a moment to be recognized. Yuri Diarujo, Yuri has gone off to Brandeis University, um, Tammy Durrigan, Tammy's here, Joanne Field, Kim Fielding, Kim, Kim Fielding is um, actually at Mount Holyoke right now. Mary Hyde, who's actually at Brown University, I know that she's here, yep. Um, Brendan Martin, who came back from Emmanuel College to visit us today. Melissa Massey, Alan Messier, Nick Rose. Nick Rose came back from Stonehill College to visit with us today, too. Bisma Siddiqui and Daniel Washington, so thank you. Our next group of awards will go to 23 outstanding students who will receive the distinction of community service leaders for 2012. These students were actively engaged in either service learning or community service, and they helped with recruiting, training, and supervising at least five of their peers for a community service project. Um, they will receive a red cord to wear at graduation, and they will also receive um, if it was a service learning project, they will receive the notation on their transcript as such. This is the fourth year of this program at Bristol Community College. So the first student is Anne Brum. Anne was involved with the Cinderella gown swap project at Bristol Community College. Is Anne here? Okay, great. Our next recipient is Janet Butler. Jana, Janet was involved with the Senior Girl Scout Leader and Mentor Program. Is Janet here? Okay. Thank you. Our next student is Margaret Kamara. She was involved with the Cinderella Gown Swap Project. And this is actually um, a project where students collected, used prom dresses to donate them to students um, in local high schools who do not have any. So this is a great project. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Rachel Collins. Rachel was also involved in the Cinderella gown swap, and she was involved in a Phi Theta Kappa project. Our next recipient is Brittany Connolly. Brittany was involved in the Cuss Middle School Day, Importance of English, Math, and Science in, food, in Baking Food Service. <laughs> Our next recipient is Maurice Sear. Maurice was involved in the Tudor Club Food Drive. Is Maurice here? Fantastic. Yeah. Very regal, <laughs> both in purple. 
Our next recipient is Holly for, um, Faria. Holly was involved in the Be Enriched dance class. Is Holly here? Okay, that's an after-school program over at um, Tansy Elementary School that's been going on for, I want to say, maybe the past four years or so. Our next recipient is Joanne Fields. Joanne was involved in the Teddy Bear Mission. And Joanne has been involved in a lot of other civic engagement um, activities here. Our next recipient is Coral Furtado. She, um, she had to leave for a final exam, unfortunately, so she's received her, her cord and her certificate. But Coral was involved in the Cinderella gown swap here at Bristol Community College this past year. Our next awardee is Kyle Heward. Is that correct? Did I say it right? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Kyle was involved in our One Shirt Project clothing drive at Bristol Community College. This was apparently a competition um, between other colleges that were doing um, clothing drives as well. And they, they apparently had to weigh the clothing. How much did the clothing weigh here? 280 pounds of clothing. <laughs> our next recipient is Andrew Kelly. Andrew was involved in the campus police seminar at Bristol Community College. Congratulations, Andrew. Our next recipient is Elise Kennedy. Elise was involved in the voter access for disabled and elderly. And she did a fantastic job. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. Our next student leader is Michael Lasco. Michael was involved in the STEM scholarship program at Attleboro High School. Our next recipient is Monsell Lloyd. Monsell was involved in the Veterans Fund raising dinner. Our next recipient, I'm not sure if he's here, I didn't see him, but um, it's Brian Martins, and he was involved in the Enriched Sciences Fund course. <laughs> Our next recipient is Julia Marrera. Julia is not here, unfortunately, but she was involved in the student advocacy rally. Our next recipient is Dylan Mari. He was involved in the Be Enriched Mu Green Music course at Tansy Elementary School. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't be here either. The next recipient is Hunter Parent Wetmore. Hunter was involved with the Community Partners Fair at Attleboro, but unfortunately, Hunter couldn't be here as well. Our next recipient is Emmanuel Ribello. Emmanuel was in in, involved in the Hood Street fi Fire Fundraiser. Okay. <laughs> Our next recipient is Jeffrey Robbins. Jeffrey was involved in AIDS Incorporated Scholarship Fundraiser. Our next recipient is Alicia St. Ives, and she was involved with the Coupon Club at Bristol Community College. Our next student leader is Tiffany Tavares. She was involved in Be Enriched History is Fun. I don't believe that she was able to make it today, but um, we can take a moment to recognize her. And our last recipient for this um, award is actually one of my students, um, Mark Zajak. Mark was involved in the Food Independence Project, which was a fantastic project that he did over at Harbor House in New Bedford. <laughs> so
So that actually um, completes this portion of the program. Now I'm going to pass the mic along to um, Dr. Vieira, and he will um, go through the conferring of the con certificates. Have another round of applause for uh, all of you good folks. Um, for those of you who aren't unsure of what that was all about, the, uh, the red cards, they actually get to wear after graduation, and it, it's the highest level of, of, community, of civic engagement that we have on the campus. So they actually um, not only do the service, but they organize a project and work with others and, and really um, plan and execute something to benefit the community. So it's a, it's a big deal. So good job. Um, the certificates of appreciation, these are for community partners. See, I like when Jen nods her head. That means I didn't screw up. So I like that. Uh, Paula Bryden. Mary Lou Brown. Pauline Camara, who was here but had to go back to work. I hate when that happens. Yeah. You know, so. Mary Ellen Gomes. Patricia Madursky. And Cheryl Penny. Well, we thank them all anyway. Yeah. They're on the community doing what they do. And these are certificates for faculty? That should be the envelope. Right? <laughs> faculty. Gloria Cabral. <laughs> Sally Cameron. <laughs> we made a faculty for a day today. <laughs> Honorary faculty member for today. Trisha Cloutier. Reminding everyone to floss after their meal today. <laughs> Carol Garand, who was very happy to get a shout out for the accounting people today. <laughs> uh, Sarah Garrett, who I think also is back to work. Um, Richard Horton. Uh, Joellen Hunt, um, Mary Hyde. Carol Martin. Elizabeth McCarthy. Dana Mayu. Do this one. Mm -hmm. um, John Sprager, who will award the uh, award for himself. <laughs> Connie Trapanier. Connie? Yeah. I'll give this to myself. Yeah. Michael Vieira. Michael Vieira. <laughs> Um, Phyllis Wentworth. Yeah. 
Ron Weisberger. And Cynthia Wolf Boswell. Wolf. It's just Cynthia Wolf. The advisory board for this um, group usually meets after this breakfast, but this year met earlier in April. But we would uh, like to take this opportunity to recognize the advisory board members who are here today. Uh, Jennifer Boule. <laughs> Kathleen Burns. Okay, Rebecca Clark, who's not here. Nicole Collins. Yeah. Peg Caro. I don't think it's here. Uh -huh. uh, Kathy Toppy Garganto, who's not here. Yeah. She was here but had to leave also. Uh, Margaret Lyford. Christian McCluskey. James Pelletier. Teresa Romanovich. Maureen Sowa could not be here. Pam Tickle. I think she's here. Michael Vieira. Yeah. <laughs> David Weed. Not here. Um, Ron Weisberger, we know is not here. Cindy Wolf. Mary Zahm, how about a nice round of applause for the uh, advisory board? I'm going to present the student certificates. If by chance your name is not called, you are still a winner. But uh, that probably means that you didn't RSVP, so there's not a prepared certificate for you. So just see Jen at the end of the breakfast, and she'll write down. And if by chance um, there's a typo in your name or anything that you'd like to change, if you have an alias that you're assuming for the next month or so, <laughs> you can also see Jen. Um, Ian Borim. Ian is here. I know he is. Ian. Ah, I screwed up your name that bad, you didn't even hear it? Oh, yeah. And it's spelled wrong, so you can have it fixed. <laughs> Meredith Brady. Joanne Brault. Anne Brum. Jennifer Bryant. Luan. Luhan? Luhana. Caggiano. Uh, Margaret Camara. Brittany Conley. 
<laughs> Paula Costa. Daisy Cruz. Maurice Sear. Randy Evans. Jonas Lee Faraday? Faraday? I got it. Thank you very much. Joanne Field? Carl Furtado? David Henry? Kelly Hunton. <laughs> Kyle Hewitt. <laughs> Jennifer Janini. Elise Kennedy. Ramon Lavoy. Darren Lacombs. Melanie May Lavoy. Brendan Marden. <laughs> Melissa Massey. Oh, wow. Leona McAndrew. <laughs> this is good practice for graduation. Anne Marie Mello. Deborah Mello. Jessica Mello. Cassandra Pacheco. Megan Page. They're probably all doing community service somewhere. That's why they're there. Christine uh, Patnode Sokol. Okay. Vincent Prani. Maybe it's not Vincent. Is that backwards? Ida Rivera. Max Schockett. Schockett. Lauren Smith. Alicia St. Ives. Brandon Tarascus. Mark Tavares.
Christine Thompson. And Mark Zajac. Kind of tired up here. <laughs> and the winners are these are community service community service certificates. So they're certificates for people who did community service. <laughs> the Juca Arujo. Here we go. Samantha Arenberg. Katie Ashworth. Joanne Creel? You're missing a letter. We need to buy a vowel. <laughs> We're missing letters in there. Joanne Brault, Heidi Bruno, Lee Charlton, Nicole Collins, Daisy Cruz. Another party in the other room. Yeah. Margaret Camara. Margaret, congratulations. Amanda DeForest. <laughs> Kayla DeRoches. James Dolan. Paul Donovan. Tammy Durrigan. Marina F. Theomad Miedad. I'm glad you're not here. Sure. <laughs> Joanne Field. Yeah. Kim Fielding. Yeah. Crystal Gleason. Yeah. Elizabeth Howard. Kelly Hunton, Mary Hyde, Meredith LeBeau, Brendan Marden. Melissa Massey. <laughs> Bryce Moore. <laughs> Cassandra Pacheco. <laughs> Emmanuel Rabello. <laughs> Melissa Robbins. Nick Rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Max Choquette. I'm going to try it different ways every time. <laughs> Lauren Smith. And 
Kevin St. Germain. And to all of our certificate recipients, a nice round of applause. Does that conclude? Okay, can you ask the uh, community providers to stand for a, a recognition? They provided the in service spot. Sure. Can we have the um, community uh, partners stand just for a minute, just so we can recognize you? Anybody from the community who, who helped? Stand it from Come on, Christian, get up. Well, they're shy, but there are other ones here, so we thank them because they provide that very important link um, to the community. So we thank them, and we thank all of you, and we thank the people who worked so hard, the, the culinary crew and the uh, civic engagement staff, especially uh, Jen Boulay and... Nicole and, and the rest of uh, the good folks here. So thank you all. Have a great day. Enjoy each other's company for a little while. And uh, keep up the great work.